All right, folks, I'm going to help you guys. When you have to deal with religious people and they said, and you ask them, why is the Bible God's word or any of the religions, why is God's word? You have to ask them, well, why is this the religion God's word? What is this book out of the, all the other 4,500 religions? Why isn't the Quran God's word? Why isn't the Bhagavad Gita God's word? See? Yeah, and, and, you know, all the answers is going to give its own faith in you. And then you have to explain to them, well, how do you know your religion is the right one out of all the other religions? Out of the 4,500 religions or even more. See, you have, this is how you have to educate the people. Um, and their only answer is faith. Okay. You got them beat. So if you're going, if the person comes out to you as a Christian, and, and you know, it, it's all of it is a circular reason. It all goes because it's God's words. It's God's words. But they have no evidence or proof. All they have is the Bible. And you have to tell them, you know, well, if your Bible is God's word, what about, why isn't the Quran's God's word? Why isn't the Bible God's word? Why isn't all these other holy books God's word? Or you can tell them, well, what happened if all the books is God's word? You know? <laughs> or, or you can tell them, what happened if none of them is God's word? So actually, to help these religious people, you have to ask the questions and then you can make the statements to so make them think because that's what that's what you're there for you make you're here to make them think not necessarily to convert them but you make them think you know ask them okay well they say this is god's word tell them well why isn't this holy book religion god word why isn't this one why isn't this one or you can say what happened if all of them is God's words? And or you can say, what happened if you're believing in the wrong God? And this is the right God. They're defenseless. Because you explained, because they have no other explanation. Um, that they think their faith is the right one. And then you're explaining all the other religions and gods. You're defenseless. You defeated them. Um, so it's always good to ask, make them ask questions and it's always good to, uh, ask, well, how do you know your religion is the right one out of all these other religions? This will stop and make them think, you know, he's like, and then people will explore and eventually come to a secular position because they would like, well, you know, I never thought about that. Maybe I should explore the other religions, you know, that's what they're thinking, or how do I know my God's the right one, you know? This will make them think. Remember, if you're going to convert somebody to the atheist, it's not going to be right away. Unless maybe you were like Christopher Hitchens, <laughs> you know, he's really good, a really good debater. But, um, but, um, remember... A lot of people that were religious and became atheists was a long conversion. It was an overnight conversion. It was a long conversion. They had to think. And of course, like me and some others, like uh, Sam Harris, who didn't even grow religious or have religious parents, it's, it's an easy thing for us. But if you want to convert somebody to atheist, you either have to be really good, get directly to the point, Go with my, my three-point procedure. Or if you're like Christopher Hitchens, you know, he's really good. Sam Harris, all the pro-atheist debaters. Or, um, or, um, and if you just can't convert them, at least you make them think. Ask them the questions. How do you know your God's the right one? How do you know your religion's the right one? How do you know all the religions are not the right one? How do you know all the gods are not the right one? How do you know there's... And maybe there's no gods that are the right one. Maybe there's no religion is the right one. You have to make them think. It all boils down to, like Richard Dawkins says, critical thinking. Just tell them your know, faith is acceptance of gullibility. And, and this is why, you know, you have religious people calling the atheist experience. Everybody wants answers. This is why people call the churches. Because they want answers. That's why we have the Atheist Experience Show. That's why we get so many calls. Because people want answers. 
a lot of people from the Reason Rally. Evidence. Thousands of people showed up. You know, thousands of people showed up to the Reason Rally. This proves a lot of religious people out there are closeted and they're scared to come out. And they want answers. And that's why they call the atheist experience. Everybody wants answers. Trust me. Religious or non religious, everybody wants answers to how everything started. Absolutely. Everybody's curious. Everybody's curious. There's a saying, curiosity killed the cat. Everybody's curious. Everybody wants the answers. Some people want the answers more than others, though. And, uh, but, like, well, but be, that being said, you know, we're at a time where religion is declining. There's still religious nuts out there. It's going to get better and better years from now. The more science explains, the more technology advances, the less will people believe in God. We're, I mean, we're already seeing it now in the poll. I think we're up to a 20% decrease of religion. It's pretty impressive, you know? This is going to keep continue to dec decrease. Um, and like I said, science and technology is going to kill religion and gods. It's just a matter of time, folks. It's just a matter of time. Um, because once we learn more about the universe, science and technology, the less people have fear, the less people have to believe in any religion or any god. It's just going to be a matter of time. Right now we're we're at the we're at the middle ground, you know. Before, you know, the eighties was all was religion took over the world, really, especially Christianity, you know. Now, the two thousands middle, we're at a point where religion is a it's at a standby, it's at a, it's at a halt, it's at a decrease. In years from now, it's going to be even more decreased. It's just a matter of time, folks. I mean, that's not my faith. That's evidence rel relating to my conclusion. It's all about evidence. Inference induction. And that's how it's going to be. You know, we, we're even seeing people losing their faith. I mean, I can't believe it. You know, think about it. On the bus... You had people agreeing with the atheist in the debate. Twenty years ago, we atheists wouldn't even be in the round. <laughs> We're coming further and further, folks. So it's, it's going to get better. It's going to take some time, though. Because people, they just don't understand, number one, how the universe works. Number two, um how the universe can be with no creator it's going to take some time folks it's going to take some time but um but when it happens uh whether it be years from now many years it'll happen and um like i said science technology is going to kill religion and gods because the, peop the more we know about the universe and world, the less people have in fear of superstition, and the more they'll come, to, they'll, be, they'll come to reality. And the more the AC experience, I believe, which is incredible. I can't believe that show's been on for like 20 years. Damn, where was I? I, I never knew when I lived the years ago. Um, it was an atheist experience. I never even knew that. It's been around for almost 2000. Well, the early 2000s. That's, that's incredible. I never knew this. But I heard Texas is like really bad in religion. It's like really religious. But I heard like Mississippi is the most religious. So I'm surprised. Well, I guess it makes sense that, that I heard that they could probably, it would be possible to have Mississippi because people are probably killing people. That's all bad or religious in the Mississippi. So I guess it makes sense it's in Texas. But wow, I, I never knew it was been it's been around that long. But that that being said, um I was always um pretty much atheist. Uh, so 
so but um surprised that show's been and, it, and people I guess really never knew about the show until now now it's really blown up people really know about the show um but don't worry folks it, it's gonna take some time you know like I said people don't know <laughs> what to think they're scared of a universe a world without God God is like a crutch like Kerry King from Slayer says you know it's a crutch it really is or Osha says um you know, like Osha says, you know, uh, when Jesus says, um, Father, why you, have you forsaken me? No help came. So, you know, but that's all mythology right there. So, it's going to take some time. But like I said, we're, we're, we're like in the middle. We're like in the middle point. Years from now, we're going to be past the middle and head in the first place. It's going to take some time, though. Um... But, uh, I guess if Christopher Hitchens was alive, who knows if, if, if atheism would increase so dramatically, if he was alive now, um, because he's, he's an amazing debater, I mean, he's, uh, he could probably convert anybody, that's how good he is, um, But don't worry, folks. It's going to be a bright future. Science will explain more. No question. And it's going to be... We're living the most exciting time of our lives. You know, we found the Big Bang. We found dark energy, dark matter. Just imagine years from now. <laughs> what else are we going to find? It's going to be amazing. Stay tuned.